Welcome back to another Maya Top Gear, and in this video I have the Thunderball Fist. I'm in the test dummy here um, to kind of show something quick before I go into Southpaw. But the Thunderball Fist, with a binary, it does put up two orbs. As you see here, that 717k, that is two separate orbs there. So, I'm using the binary prefix on this gun to uh, really take advantage of chain reaction the most and just get the most amount of those extra orbs out there. It's not the most ammo efficient this way because Molly Wong pistols normally take two ammo per shot and now we're up to four, which is a bit on the heavy side. But this gun is basically a chain reaction abuse gun getting just as many orbs out there as possible. And the main bullets also have 100% splash. What am I doing? I already bought ammo. Um, I'm going to play around with both the re Legendary Siren and the Trickster on it. However, on the first boss with Watt, um, he does resist. So, as you can see, those guys all melted pretty well. There is a Torg weapon up here that I'm not liking. Where's the other one? So part of this gun, you just have to have faith in it. And you also have to be a bit careful. Now with a single enemy like this, I'm just gonna crit him. I was shooting there like it's pimper now. You won't enjoy this. So with that, that is the first. Now with these guys, I'm just gonna do the pimp because, like I said, uh, I know his badass doesn't resist, but he does. So, you know, deal with that. Also, if you notice there, I was shooting that guy's armpit. That is actually his uh, sweet spot. Let's see. Try to group these guys up. And let those orbs go up to him and win. So sometimes it's kind of a choice between, uh, you know, critting and orbing. Oh, get back there. What's nice is I shoot the guy below and it takes care of the guy above. Where are these guys? So I eliminate that guy under there and the guy above goes. Scorn seems to be on bad cooldown today. Really? Alright, so uh, it's actually not doing that bad with ammo. That actually kind of worked nice with uh, those guys coming out. And that should finish him. No. 
Yeah. And what's nice is those guys running through the orbs kind of get shocked on the way through. That's something I wasn't even thinking of. The, you almost get a little extra crowd, crowd control out of it like that. So now I'm a little light on ammo. Doing uh, not too bad. And now I'm going to switch to the Trickster Com. And to get the most out of Chain Reaction. I'll have less base damage this way. Because uh, I'm not boosting all those damage skills like Accelerate and the passive Com from the boot. Boost from the Com or the Mind's Eye. That is lovely. Actually... I'm going to pick those up just for ammo. Get them together or not. You can see that worked quite well. Just hit these two up for ammo, although I'm doing pretty good, surprisingly. Uh, especially for taking four ammo per shot. You can also see I lost on some foresight there. I'm gonna actually get this guy down. And I'm gonna retreat through here. See, there's orbs all over the place. There's no enemies for them to go on to. That was another nice uh, shock of that bomber. And it works quite nice with Converge there. You know, you just get the guys out, get the guys below, and let the orbs take care of the guy in the orb, if possible. But he has a slag weapon, so I'm not messing about. Let's see, I'm just going to get this guy down. Try to get these guys up here, but they won't go. Alright, now let's try that. Eh, he's hiding behind that barrel. I should have got them both. And uh, Life Tap loves it too. And you can see there, that was a good example of Chain Reaction and Converge. Just absolutely ate them up. Um, where's your buddy? There he is. That didn't work out so hot. Is he not slag? <laughs> Alright. They uh, didn't cooperate as well, but uh, still worked out okay. Go hit these up to ammo back up. I'm getting a little low here. Apparently the game is glitched out. We're just constantly here shock damage now. That's going to be annoying if it doesn't go away. There it goes, finally. Or is it back? Nope, it's back. And let's see if I'll get good here. 
hopefully. It's actually been the pistols dropping that has kind of kept me full of ammo. Now this room will have to be extra careful because it's easy to get kind of crowded in with enemies. Like that. But you can also really group them up well. And Life Tap loves this. Where are some other enemies? Chain reaction did his job there by finding that enemy. Again, the shock orbs everywhere. There's more. Come on, enemies, group up better. And you're by yourself. Come on over. Ah, you got stuck. I didn't want him to go over to get slagged. Right, who's behind me? There we go. That must have hurt. And shock balls everywhere. And this should be the last guy. Gonna hit this up while phase lock comes back. For almost no ammo. But I should be okay. You see there it ate both of them pretty well. Roof kind of escaped. Come on back. Is he doing this thing he did with his Maggie? Oh, there he's taking damage. Well, my uh, connection is doing what it did. That must have hurt. And there goes Roof. So that is the Thunderball Fist. Um, I definitely think it plays better with the... Oh, nice. those lined up almost look like a pearl again. I was going to freak out. Um, I think it lines up better with the kind of chain reaction spam with the Trickster, but uh, it's still quite good with the Siren. But uh, when you get all that chain reaction, all those extra orbs, plus the main pellets aren't too bad with that splash damage. Uh, you can really get quite a bit out of this gun, and it's it's a different gun. It's fun. And uh, I quite like it. So uh, let me know what you guys think of the Thunderball Fist. Now, this gun used to be one of the biggest pains in the asses to farm because you get it from Captain Flint. And that's a long run to go farm someone, especially with a 1 in 30 drop rate. It's 1 in 10 is better, but if you have the final Headhunter pack, uh, Son of Cromerax, then you can just do a shorter run to the Son of Flint and farm him, and he's really easy to kill. Not that Captain Flint's that hard to kill, especially as Maya, you phase lock him and win. But uh, he's easier to kill, he's a shorter run, so that's a pretty good farm for it. Um, Parts-wise, this is my favorite prefix if you're doing chain reaction spam for obvious reasons. More pellets, more chain reaction, etc, etc. Although, uh, you know, just damage prefix is good because the splash damage is based on the gun's damage. You have 100% 100, 100 splash damage on the pellet, 
and the orb that explodes is 150%. So you have a total of 250% splash damage. So the bigger you get that base damage, the better. Although, like I said, sometimes going for the extra pellets, uh, as you saw in this video, it worked out a little bit better. And it wasn't that bad on ammo. I got a little low towards the end, but there's a lot of chests in that room I could have opened up, which I didn't. Um, prefix. Yeah, I already covered prefix. Grips. It's kind of hard. You could do a Torg or a Jacob's Grip to really get the most out of that damage, but... You sacrifice a lot of the reload and mag size and maybe even fire rate. So you're best off going Molly Wan. You know, obviously it's shock only, so you don't have to worry about that. But uh, yeah, either binary or I guess you could go with fire rate on this thing. I mean, you're still putting out more orbs. So I like the double prefix, but damage or fire rate are still good for DPS. You're still putting more bullets out there with fire rate or damage just getting those uh, shots to be worth more so that is farming it in parts like I said this thing is it's honorable mention because it doesn't have the kick is obviously like Lady Fist or Herald um, but it does have some good Maya synergy so you know it's, it's on the list for that reason especially with Chain Reaction and uh, all those orbs combined with Converge and Chain Reaction and all that stuff just works great. Uh, I kind of wish it wasn't Shock only because it would be a lot better if you could match elements with it. Uh, maybe the first shot knock down, knocks down the shield, the second shot just eats them alive. But, you know, some guns are, and it is the Thunder Ball Fist, so Shock does make sense on it. However, you know, using a corrosive one on loaders would be kind of cool. That's all I have for this video. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, that pretty much wraps up pistols. I'm not going to really do a video right now for the Grog or Ruby. They are both on the list, but uh, I mean, I've got some ideas. I might come back to that, but uh, I'm going to move on to, I believe it's Assault Rifles are next. So uh, I guess first be video is going to be the Becca. Uh, you guys haven't seen me run this map with the Becca before, but you're going to see it again. So thank you once again for watching, and I will see you all later. Bye.